Welcome to the exciting and new mini podcast. I'm Jason. I'm Andy. I'm Dana. Hello, say something. I feel like it's been so long since we podcast, but it really has not been that long. It's been over a week, right? It's been like two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. yeah. Dana, anything interesting happened in the last two not weeks? Not really. You don't want to talk about it at all? Do you want to mention that you're a grandmother? <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, no, I am. I am. Ashley had uh, a baby girl on the 10th. So it's been that's at somebody least, else's birthday. That's a very important. I know. That's a very important day. I was really pushing for the eleventh because that's the day I picked on the pool. Yeah, yeah. And because it's seven eleven, but um, it's gonna free Slurpee on her birthday. I know, year. right? And that means it's been that long since we podcasted. So I was yes, in Florida when that happened. So we didn't yeah. even podcast since before it's been I went like to two Florida. Weeks, yeah, it's yeah. Like three weeks. What the twenty second? That was yep. yeah. So July twelve 5th, days. Right July fifth, mm-hmm. I went down to yeah. Florida, but. So that's we've been going back and forth a lot up there. How, how so. far away do they live? Oh, about an hour and fifteen minutes. Have you stayed there? Oh, like and crashed there? Just, or no, like, we did. Yeah. Uh, the the night she went into the hospital and had the baby, we stayed over, um, because you know they had to stay in the hospital and just to watch their dog. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, we've just been going back and forth. Um, his mom has been staying a lot. She lives for she lives in North Carolina, so that's a she's commute. come up. Yeah, it's a longer commute. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, we have four dogs and. You know, we have to go back and forth, but lot, the drive yeah. is just turnpike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you that get gets with these really no. This it's four twenty two. Four twenty two. So, like which four twenty two is the worst road? I, I'd rather stay on the turnpike. Yeah. I hate four twenty two. But um, you know, I, I'm the type of person when I'm driving on a road like that, even if I've had a full night's sleep and I have five cups of tea or coffee or soda. Like I guess just the it starts to hypnotize Monotonous you. Monotonous. Yeah, drive. and I just get really really tired and. Um, so that that kind of sucks. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So we're going back up there again. I took the day off Thursday to go up there and be there all day. So. Yeah. Mm, and everybody's doing well. Yeah. She was big. She was eight pounds. What's her name? Full head of black hair. Really? Full head of hair? Yeah. yeah. She had full head of it's hair. Like Puerto Rican jeans in her. <laughs> well, my sister, it's funny because my sister was born with a full head of black hair and I looked like I was bald till I was like. Too. I was gonna say some people were bald yeah. really long, and then yeah. other times they well, had I also, really, yeah, because yeah, I had like especially when it's dark. Yeah, I had blonde dark, hair, yeah. and I did um, too. Yeah, but I think now, everybody honestly. has blonde hair when they're young. It's weird. I got pictures yeah. up to like two years old. I had blonde yeah. hair, yeah, and then it just turns this ugly brown color. I remember one of our kids. <laughs> equating blonde hair with youth in a way only like a five-year-old could do. and he's like oh, oh that's yeah. what, he's, youth, he's, right? he's like yeah, he's like oh that's when he had blonde hair like meaning like that's when they were young kind of thing because everybody oh, starts yeah, all yeah. blonde and then becomes yeah. brunette or whatever after well your kids are still kind of blonde well daniel bleaches his hair and well yeah but it's Logan's, amazing how is that his real color it's, it's amazing blonde, right? Dan, logan's hair is probably like my color so oh, okay. i still think of myself as blonde even though i have yeah. not really been blonde since i was yeah. like five years yeah. old but i still yeah. think of myself as blonde i don't and i was no, I, and I, I stopped I, though. I, I don't I, know, you know why I do. Yeah. I'm more gray than anything. Now. Well, yeah. Now that I'm going gray, I might go back to blonde, and then I could truly be blonde. But um, yeah, I always probably like in you know around seven, eight years old, it, it changed to brown. So yeah. it sucks when weird, you're blonde right? and cute fun. as a little kid, and then you grow up and you have ugly brown hair. And <laughs> I don't think a brown hair is ugly, but that's well, all right. Well, it's compared to the blonde, yeah, compared I guess, to yeah. the yeah. cute little blonde girl. She I used wanted to be a Targaryen. You know I that. did. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of that, House of Dragons has been it's been really good. I did not watch last night's episode, so I'm not caught all the way. Oh, yeah, uh, caught up. I see, I didn't so watch Big Brother to watch Big to watch House because I was like. So I don't have cable, so Big, Big Brother. Brother I have to watch live on oh, Paramount. Paramount. Plus, yeah. If you don't watch it live, then you have to wait till the next day. So I was like, live with commercials or next day? I cannot believe you guys still watch that show. Yeah, First of all. It's fun, dude. And when I see some of your texts yeah. back and forth and you're talking about BB, I'm like, BB, Breaking Bad? Like, what are they talking? I'm like, oh, they're talking about that show they watch. It's and so half the time, funny. I don't even remember what it's called. I'm like, it's something with two Bs. I'm like, I don't even know what it is. Well, I, I was like, no, I have to watch House of Dragons. And I'll tell you guys that I... I didn't it was watch good. Last night. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It. You know, um, I'm, I'm caught getting... up on the boys, though. Are you caught up on the boys? No, yeah, we finished the boys, we finished the boys this awesome. weekend. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm so behind what an on that. Too, man. Really? Yes. Okay. See, the thing is, like, I feel like Stay I can't. After the credits? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. is that the only one with after credits? Because I haven't been watching. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I um, for me, it's not a show I can binge because there's so much going on. Like, I feel like I have to take it I in. I just watched it week to week. I watched yeah, it. Yeah, that's yeah. We, we watched the last. They two give you three combined. that first week. That's yes. the only problem. They give you that thir- three, three yeah. on the first week. Yeah, and then one each week after that. But it's only five weeks. So the, 
Oh, you there's have, only five. You, well, you, oh, there's you, eight you, episodes. Yeah. Okay. You have this show for like a month. That's yeah. it. And it's over. Yeah. You know we I mean? were so. actually, because we were in Florida, when those shows were coming out, like we were behind on everything because we weren't going to sit and watch those shows with Michelle's parents. Yeah. And yeah Cameron, especially the boys. For, <laughs> yeah. But Cameron also, I mean, he was, we we're not going to watch the boys yeah. or House of mm-hmm. in front of him. So yeah, we finished the boys. One, and I just actually finished A Game of Thrones, the book. I finished that the other day. Oh, yeah. It was really good, right? It's an excellent book. And yeah. It's, uh, it was That's the one I read. First book. I was, yeah, 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 first yeah. book. I was arguing with Connor about it the other day because I was like, oh, it's such an easy read. And he's like, easy read. I'm like, well, it's you know easy because now. I know who yeah. everybody is. I'm like, I yeah. know. Like, if you I, were reading that without the TV series, it would be a lot. Probably. You know, there's lot so many difficult. names especially thrown the name. at you. Uh-huh. But, especially the names that are very close to. I read the letter f- difference yeah. or, or, whatever, or yeah. the fact that there's like there's three Rob Roberts in this. There's Rob Robert <laughs> yes. and Robin. Robert Baratheon, and, and, and you yeah. got Rob Star well, and Rob, in the book Aaron, he was Robin Aaron, yeah. little Rob, sweet Robin or whatever they call him. But, but he's in the Robert book also. he was Robert. Robert. He's in the Robert, show yes. he's Robin. Is that the one that breastfeeds till yes. like eleven? Yes. Or yes. Yes. <laughs> well, you know what's funny is I did the same Speaking thing. Speaking of breastfeeding. <laughs> Dude, the boys. I know. So I know oh exactly my god! Where you're going. <laughs> I definitely haven't got there yet. Yeah, but um, the last episode I watched, he was tripping really a, hard, and he was seeing was like rubber duckies. And, yeah. Oh, oh, wait, so it involves wait, firecracker. The last per- the last one you saw was when, when Black Noir was tripping. That one? No, or? Frenchie was. He was going somewhere with. Oh her. wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think that's the last episode I saw. Black Noir tripping. That that was last season. I don't even know if he's tripping when that was. All well, going they on. replaced. He's life. a replacement, right? Yeah, he's just another guy. It's just another guy. Okay, because I even think they switched the actor as well. Because the actor who played him was in another show I watched, and I think they even replaced. Did they the actual ever actor. actually show him under the mask? I don't think so. I only knew it was him because when I was watching the other show, I looked yeah. to see what he was on, and it said he was Black Noir, and I was like, How did I not know this? And they probably said then I realized. You got they a never role show for you where they can show your face. Show your face, and, yeah. and he's actually very good looking. That's really, a, really good. That's looking. like Kamiko when you hear Kamiko talk American English, and you're just like, damn, like she's like and not she's only. Hot. I've never heard her talk. So hot as like a regular, not gross hero. Or yeah. Boy. yeah, 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 yeah. I've actually never heard her talk. She never says a thing. We've never heard her talk on the show, right? No, we never. From not. where I've, we have no, we've not. Seen. Okay. <laughs> right. She's supposed to give me a yeah, look. I was like, oh, no. no. Not. Was yeah. like, what do I say? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I gotta get caught up in that. We started to watch um, Cobra Kai. Oh, we were gonna the, start that last time. I watched we did two not. episodes of that. Yeah. Tara was like halfway through the second one. She's like, I'm out. Really? She's without me. And I was like, uh, I'm finishing it just because it's the I'm fun gonna finish nostalgia. It too. Yeah, I'm and only watching it because it's like a family show now. We yeah. all watch it, so I'll watch it. But now that Tara doesn't want to watch it, oh, are yeah. they? See, now it's like I have to find a way to watch it on keep my own. It going on, yeah, it's good. and they can keep it going. It's just yeah. Now they, it's good. I watched. It's the first just one of those shows that where it's like. Whoever the bad guy is this season was the good guy in the first season, or vice. You didn't watch any yet. I didn't watch it this season at all yet. No, no, no. Um. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that. But I'm sure you watched. Axel F by now, right? I have. Have we not podcasted since then? No, oh, we have yeah, not. I watched that yeah. too. Was it good? Uh, it was. Oh, it's good. great. Okay, yeah, it was very right. good. I thought it was a lot of fun, and I hope they do more. Uh, it was better uh, than. It was definitely better than Beverly, or Beverly Hills Cop three. Oh yeah, for sure. I haven't seen everybody in a back. long time. Yeah. yeah, they were alive. They're back. Okay, everybody's back. Isn't there someone? Um, Paul Reiser. He's, He's in back. it, right? Yep. He's back. Okay. I remember seeing Kevin him. Bacon's new Kevin in Bacon. It. That Kevin was the one. I was like, yeah. he, he wasn't in it before. The only okay. person I'm surprised that he was never... in Maxine, which I saw by the way, oh, and Maxine. that was really good. I know yeah. a lot of people were, are complaining that it was in, didn't live up to the hype, but I like Pearl better. But Maxine was really good, and it wrapped yeah. it up like that's the yes, end of it. it okay, it yeah, that's cool. There's, there's talks of him having a fourth story. Okay, but he's just leaving it at a three for now, so I don't know. Well, hmm. yeah. He gets to it, he gets to it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know if he has like, it. Maybe he wants to do something to... else, and then they will do it again. And yeah, go back. Maybe yeah. he does. But T West, he's good. I like him. That's who's what the, the That's the director. The yeah. director. Okay. I did he also s- write those stories? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. And when he did he plan a trilogy at the start? Yes, of he did. It, he okay. had it all planned. It, it yep. didn't. Yeah, because he had a trilogy. He had set the film. I remember. Right when X came out, he started filming Pearl and then uh, oh. Maxine back to back. Maxine has so many people in it. Giancarlo Esposito. Oh, I saw that he was in so that. so good in this movie. Okay. Please tell me he's a bad guy because it's like, the guy never not he, be a bad guy? No, right? He is so good. He was a good guy in one thing I saw. The first time I ever saw him in something in the 90s called Homicide. Oh, okay. Um, did you ever see him do the really right good. thing? I did see Do the Right Thing, but yeah. I don't... I was a kid I, when I, I saw I that. I've seen that one time and I didn't even know he was in yeah, that. Yeah, that was in like the 80s I saw that. 
I saw The Bike Riders. Oh, okay. And I like that a lot. What is that? That's with Tom Hardy. It's Elvis and Venom. Um, Austin oh, Butler. it was yeah. good? It was really good, oh, yeah. All right. Um, Norman Reedus is in there for a bit, too. But um, I like that a lot. Um, it's t- based off a true story, where a book. Uh, the Chicago Vandals, a motorcycle gang okay. that started up, and it just shows their uh, from like sixty eight to seventy three, roughly. And the, the one lady tells a story, and it's uh, she's dating uh, Austin Butler in it, and okay. just gives yeah, she tells the story, and it's really good, a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. I, I enjoyed that one. Tom Hardy's great. You went to the movies to see this? No, I did not. Okay, gotcha. but you did see Maxine in the theater. Gotcha. Right? I did see yeah. Maxine yeah. in the theater. Yes, that was okay. so good. Yeah, I haven't gone to the movies in so long. Maxine was my first time in the movies in a while. The last time I was in the movies was when I saw Dune. Speaking of which, I just saw a preview last night. Dune 3? No. Before okay, I, House I, I, of... I, I didn't even know they were I'm filming that I'm pretty sure it was before House of Dragons for Dune, the TV show on HBO. A uh, new series? Mm-hmm. Or the, the, old, the old TV show? No, a new series. I don't know And about as that. I'm watching it, I didn't I'm know what so it was. It was too much TV But wait, here's the thing. I'm telling you, when I was watching it, Andy, I'm watching it, I'm like, th- everything they're saying just reminds me of... And po- now, what's the show we watched? Foundation. Foundation. I was like, these are very oh, similar. Is this something? And then it's going. I'm like, and then it showed up Dune. I was like, oh. I actually just started reading Dune Messiah. That's the next book. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I, I was having a real hard time, real hard time getting into it because it's a, it starts, it's twelve years after Dune, and it starts off with an interview. At first, I'm like reading. It, I'm like, is this even part of the book? And I see things, uh, you know, Muad'Dib and Quiza Hatter. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, at first, I thought they were just like maybe interviewing the author, like Frank Herbert. But mm-hmm. no, I'm like, okay, this is actually part of the book. All right. But I was really having a hard time getting into it. So I started listening to the audio book just to like kind of get me yes, into it. it's very helpful. And the guy that's doing the audio book. Sounds, sounds like you. No. <laughs> <laughs> great <laughs> sounds just like the guy that did the audiobook for foundation so i was oh. having like foundation vibes okay. as i'm reading and listening to do messiah i was like did these this guy like just do all the sci-fi books from the 60s they were just like here man like no one cares about this you got garbage. A great voice. <laughs> and he does have a really good voice but as i'm listening to him I'm like it sounds like the foundation guy i can't wait for foundation yeah, i know Which... i want i uh watched Furiosa. I don't know if I talked about that. No, that, you didn't. That mm-hmm. was uh, really, really good. Enjoyed it a lot. Better than Fury Road? Or? No. Fu- I, equally as good. I probably have to watch Furiosa again to get a real grade of it, but I, I had so much fun watching it. Chris Hemsworth is ridiculous in it. He's got a big, stupid, fake nose See, that's how I for think some of, reason. Oh. That's how I think of, feel about Tom Hardy. He was so good in Bike Riders. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, the, the cast is great. Uh, Anna Taylor Joy, she's Furiosa as a not quite. She's, she's not, got a great career for herself. So if <laughs> she's been doing some really good movies. She's not quite yeah. Charlize Theron yet. She'll become Charlize Theron. Oh, but is that how that's that, who she's, she's Furiosa is in the Tom so these, Hardy? There's obviously movie. more movies coming. Well, she's like Fury Road with uh, Tom Hardy and Charlize Theron. This is a prequel to that, but a sequel to the first three. So Mad Max oh, Tom Hardy wasn't in this one. Nah, nah, nah. This is this is her story. There's a, and Chris Hemsworth's like the bad guy. And he's got this big, dumb, ridiculous fake nose. <laughs> <laughs> and he says like the dumb, like they, you know, uh, ready, steady, go I'm like, oh, like they talk like children half the time. And I'm like, oh, God, it's so dumb. But very funny. Uh, I watched that. I watched In a Violent Nature, which I was so excited to watch. That's it. supposed uh, to be like a slasher. It's a Friday the 13th movie without Jason, basically. Okay. Not this Jason. I think I've heard of this. And it's, yeah. it's true. It is without me. Yeah. It, 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 it is without you, but it's also without Jason Voorhees. And you, you follow it from the killer's perspective. Oh, okay. So like you don't even know what's happened at the beginning. Like He... he rises from the grave that starts the whole thing, and he's just like walking through the woods. And walking through the woods. And there was a lot of him walking through the woods. The death, the the murders in this thing. Like, one girl that he kills in this thing. I'm like, what did this poor girl deserve? (laughs) Or do to deserve to be murdered in the way that... Because, you know, Uh, you think... It's on my list. I haven't seen it yet. Is it really gory? Like, you see a lot of gory stuff? Yeah. I mean, there's only, like, maybe, like... I'm going to say six deaths. Maybe it's seven. Maybe it's five. Like, X kind of gory? Or was it... I mean, one guy, he... He's smoking a cigarette and he puts a um, a pole no, in front of him. Well, well, it's, it's well, the first well, guy he kills, well. and he just like keeps pulling it. And ke- like the guy's face just like just. I can't. But, uh, yeah. but this girl that he kills, <laughs> like I, it took 
minutes for him to do this to her. And I'm just like, as he's doing it, I'm like, what? But why? Why are you doing this? This poor girl. What did she do? But I'm looking forward um, to this movie. It's, uh, yeah, I'm not sure I recommend it. There is just a lot of him walking through the woods. A mm. lot of him walking through the woods where nothing kind of happens. But the gore is cool. But yeah. there's not enough of that. I almost threw up, not this past episode, but two episodes ago, House of Dragon, when they were peeling armor off oh, of certain someone. Damn, almost, yeah. I almost threw up watching that. So I definitely can't watch whatever you all just the described. Pussy, all the pussy uh, boils and, and the str- stuff like that. Oh, my that. God. Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> yeah. So I definitely can't watch that. That's too much for me. Like, I... I I will throw up. Um, I'm t- we watched, it was weird. We watched Super 8 last night, like out of the blue. That's a good movie. I think I saw that. I never saw it before. Are these I like kids that. who get superpowers? No, Steven Spielberg, no, no, right? This is, well, it's J.J. Abrams. J.J. Abrams, Abrams with right, a yeah. Spielberg like, assist. I think he's it's like about producer. some kids in the 80s where they're seeing... Uh, it's totally, like, five minutes in, you're like, Stranger Things, yep. E.T., Goonies, yep. okay. Stand yes. By I Me. Think I saw it's like that. It was all those movies. Yeah. It was all those things. So they're, yep. they're, they're filming a movie, Super 8. They're filming like a zombie movie. They're kids. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And a train derails yes. right as I they're remember filming this. it. So then there's like, you know, a government conspiracy, and the kids know more they're than they're on their, their bikes at some time, right? Yeah. But they do or don't have powers. No, no, no powers. Okay. And the only person I I that I really kind of knew in the whole thing was L. Fanning was the girl. Okay. And then some of the adults, um, Kyle Chandler and... I remember it being pretty good. I saw it in the theater. Yeah, it was yeah. fun. It was okay. fun. It becomes almost exactly like E.T. Yep. And I was like, That's wow. That's all the problem. Like, all right. <laughs> it brings all those movies together kind of like in yeah. one. And it's, it's, a fun, it's a fun movie. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. I think I have. Uh, all of it sounds familiar. And I don't know, like um, a couple weeks ago, Michelle was meeting my mom and my sister and my aunt in New York. So I decided to go with them. Just to meet them up for lunch. They were going to a play. Uh, Alicia Keys, I think. Yeah, that's what she said. I forget what okay. she said it was called. Uh, Hell's Kitchen. Did you see Back to okay. the Future is on the Broadway I saw, now? I saw the commercial hmm. for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought about it. You know, I'm yeah, thinking about I it. I saw yeah. Beetlejuice on Broadway right before COVID. It was good. Yeah. With, um, with that Alex guy. Brightman. Yeah. Alex yeah, yeah. Brightman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. I think the last Broadway I saw was uh, Book of Mormon, which was amazing. Uh, but, that's on my list, um, too. So... I met them up in New York. Uh, well, Michelle and, and my mom and I went up together. We met my sister, my aunt up there. So the only reason I'm telling you the story is because my aunt gets very upset at me. This is my dad's sister. Um, when I say no one listens to this podcast. So she says, <laughs> I listen to this oh, podcast. She does. she does. Aunt Marge listens to the Hello, podcast. Marge. And she ha- had a correction to make for me. I was talking. I guess I told a story about her in the old days in New York when she had a doorman. But she's like, I never had an elevator operator. I'm like, did I say that? She's like, yeah, you said you had an elevator. I had an elevator operator. You're like, all right, this is Sorry. a correct. <laughs> is that Aunt Marge correct? correct? Yes. I'm like, I was like eight years old. I don't remember. But she did have a, She did have Norman the Doorman. I don't think his name is Norman. But yeah, she's like, I listen to every episode. And every episode, you say no one listens to this. She's like, I'm listening. So, Can you get more people to listen to well, yeah. and then And then uh, last week, I went out with some old work friends, people I haven't seen in a couple of years or many years, but four of us went out and I, um, as we're talking and everybody's catching up on what their kids are doing or their dogs are doing, yeah. I was like, um, <laughs> and, uh, I got a podcast and <laughs> one of the girls, Kathy, she's like, Oh yeah. I see you on Instagram. You post stuff. I'm like, yeah, do you listen? She's like, I don't know. What? Like, how do I even, how do we even get to this thing? So Lisa, Linda, Kathy, they were all. Uh, how did they I did not know I, how to get I, on a podcast. I gave them now, all. Right? I, like I, as we're sitting there, I'm like getting on all their different phones, and not everybody has an iPhone. I'm just like, here, you get to it here, you do this. Now you can listen to it. So now I'm going to send this one to them because now I mentioned their names. And yes. They're like, oh my god, I have to now they're famous. <laughs> yeah, my dad. My dad listens a lot, and my brother-in-law Mark listens a lot. So my. My dad every once in a while be like, I just listened to this, and do you remember that time you said this? But do you remember when this happened? And you know, blah blah blah. So cousin, I know, I know two people who. My listen. cousin Sal listens a lot. Yeah, he gives me. He says that uh, he enjoys it. He says we got a good. Uh, yeah. Rapport. Yeah. Tara doesn't listen. Well, Michelle doesn't listen. Yeah. Michelle won't even come on. She's living Michelle one story <laughs> above here. She will not come down. Michelle makes fun of us as we're walking down yeah. like, you losers. Go have fun, you losers. It's almost like oh I can God. hear it in her voice. Like, today I'm driving home. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got a podcast in like 15 minutes. She's like, huh, okay. Like, it's almost like I get away from you for like over an hour and you can do your stupid thing that no one cares about. And I don't have to listen to you or to. I don't yeah. have to listen to you or see you or hear yeah. you breathe. Like, you're just doing your own thing, stupid. Go do it. My mom says I curse too much on here, though, but she listens. Um, 
I bought some tickets too for some upcoming things. I bought my mm. chiller ticket. That's in October. Nice. But I got Monster Mania coming up, so I got packages waiting for me when I get home. I got um Pope at Greenwich Village. I got the laser disc. Nice. I'm, get I'm get so excited for that. Sign that. <laughs> If I have a laser disc as well. Not of that, but I have and one laser disc. I'm gonna have Anthony Starr sign that comic book. I'm surprised. I can't yes. believe he's gonna be there. That's yes. so awesome. Who else from Nobody from the boys. Okay, he's just And then um but Juliet Lewis is gonna be there. I haven't really? decided what I'm gonna get her to sign yet. Mm. Man, I don't know what I get him to saw, sign. Either. Is I she on the? Is she on like true, the cover of true, um, um, romance, Natural Born right? Killers? She's like, is she on the cover of the back that? of Natural Born Killers? Because oh. it's Woody Harrelson. On the front, like, it's just the, Woody. Yeah, Woody's the She's main She's on the part cover of, of California. Uh, okay, with mm. Brad Pitt. <coughs> That's all. Natural Born Killers is better though. I can get for five dollars though. Oh my gosh, that's pretty cool. But um, so. They mentioned. I think uh, Vicky Lawrence is coming to uh, oh, Chiller thanks. Theater. Wow! Mama. And uh, you got Corey Feldman's going to be <laughs> yeah, there so far. Um, they just started announcing Tommy Chong is one of the big names That's too. Awesome. So yeah. Okay. Speaking of uh, Corey Feldman, I got tickets to the that that uh, the drive-in. Drive Did you get place. tickets? Yet? I got for four nice. people. Um, my sister and her husband are going. Scott and Michelle and I are going. So we're going to the Friday night, Friday the Thirteenth, Part Two, Three, and Four. Which are meet two of the three best Friday the 13th. Movies. Zach will be there. And Zach so will be there. So we'll get to, with him. Yeah, but I got my tickets for that. And then you're so. going to be at the second night of the weekend. Uh, the you're going to be the Evil Chainsaw, Dead. The night. Evil Dead. Because yeah. we got a... Oh, we had a wedding on the Friday. Yeah. Someone that we all know and love. Mr. Connor. Mm -hmm. married. Yeah. And Carrie. She's been on the show, too. Yep. Yeah. I'll be getting chainsawed and you guys will be getting at a wedding. So Hopefully. Fun. <laughs> I said, is the bar open? He's like, yeah. I'm like, then I'd rather be at your wedding because like, I'll <laughs> be getting shit-faced. You could bring beer into your car at the drive-in um <laughs> it's so funny the other day this is such a dumb story but um the warehouse at work was like 175 degrees and no one in our place cares like our human resources person is like aol no one no one cares and yeah we have water fountains and, mm -hmm. and the water things the the thing you can put your water bottle in and get water but these people are dying mm -hmm. out there. So Michelle's like, I'm taking it upon myself. I'm going to buy like water and ice and coolers and yes. blah, 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 blah. So our site director finally showed up and he came in with like three coolers. And he's like, put the put the water in here, put the ice in here, bring them out there. So we did that, except for one of the coolers. And I kind of, it was like this really nice industrial Yeti. strength <laughs> igloo cooler. And I kind of like put it to the side and I said to Michelle, I'm like, that's our fucking cooler. Don't. <laughs> Bring that out so to the <laughs> I'm like, that's our cooler now. So I was like, oh, that cooler's going to look nice in the back of my truck at the Friday the 13th drive-in <laughs> filled with beers. <laughs> that's so dumb. But I was like, oh, my God, it's such a nice cooler. That's all I cared about. That's it. <laughs> um, I don't think I watched anything else. Just stupid stuff. Modern Family. We're we still, got like, more getting stuff through. to watch. It'll be coming out soon. We'll, we'll yeah. be on it, you know. So check us out over there on Spreaker, download, rate, subscribe, review, do all those fun things with the exciting a new podcast on all of our socials. Uh, the Jizu seven, no, the Jizu on Instagram, Jizu seventy four on Twitter. This has been the exciting a new mini podcast. I am GC. I was really apprehensive about pushing B or C. I'm like, <laughs> it's that's the first sound, but is that the second sound? I was like, ooh, it's been so long. <laughs> A.E. Gonzo 1 on Twitter, A.E. Gonzo 1970 on Instagram. I'm Andy. Dana Caps on TikTok, Dana Caps 77 on Instagram. I'm Dana. Bip, 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 bip.